Welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new here and welcome back if you are already subscribed. I appreciate you a lot. Today's video is really exciting because we are going to talk about a wedding scents, perfect wedding perfumes for you as a bride, maybe even as a guest. This is really special because you're getting married soon so definitely believe I've already thought about what I'm gonna wear what kind of perfume I'm gonna wear this video is really special because I made a selection that has something for everyone so it doesn't matter if you like floral if you like more of a deeper if you like more of a stronger gourmand scent also I have included some designer fragrances because I know it is highly requested and not only that I've also listed some of the hair perfumes and body oils I think are great for you perfect day or important day of your life because this perf the perfume you're gonna choose is gonna be so important because you're gonna remember your wedding day your whole entire life when you smell this perfume so pressure is on ladies <laughs> so we're gonna start and no I haven't already chosen my wedding scent I'm not sure yet maybe one of that uh, one of those that is on the list I will use or maybe I also thought it would be nice to go and get a new one that I've never used before on the hunt for it, but we will see. Well, let's start. In case I mispronounce any word, um, forgive me. Please let me know if I do in the comments below. I will try the best not to butcher any words. Um, but yeah, let's start. So let's start with some floral perfumes. And the first one on the list would be Rose de Vent by Louis Vuitton. This one is a floral fragrance. I mean, when I say floral, I don't think it get any more floral than this. I think it's a beautiful floral. I know I said that I love rose, but this is a rose that is not the best on my personal skin. But I know so many women, also friends of mine, that I have recommended these perfumes that are that recommended this perfume that are obsessed with it because it stays really long and it is a very for me this smells like a botanical garden i it's very floral if you want something that's floral on your wedding day maybe you get married in like a i don't know a little castle where there's a garden i think that would be so beautiful um it's a beautiful perfume if you love floral perfumes if you love for example gucci bloom we go to this later then you will love this also if you love for example melody d'amour what is it called what is it called what is the brand called? But there's a perfume called Melody Demo, which is very, very floral. Again, a beautiful, beautiful creation, but just doesn't work with my skin when it's too floral. It's almost too overpowering for me personally, but I definitely want to include some floral perfumes because I do have a few friends that love florals and I always recommend uh, Rose de Vent. Um, I said that I love rose, but there's so many different roses, so I prefer the rose a little bit more gourmandy than very, very floral and I would say powdery yeah there's other florals in there i think as well but as again i put the notes in here uh, louis vuitton makes great fragrances i think the price point is really good considering that it is a 100 ml but of course that depends on your budget but always consider the amount that you have in the perfumes then the next one on the list is a designer fragrance which is cancel flower i mean we all know cancel flower um but this one is really one that i love i used to wear it all the time. Kinso Flower and Kinso Amu was like one that I used to wear in my early teens. I loved it and I think this would be a great uh, scent. Actually, when I mixed Kinso Flower with some oud that I have, um, I get a lot of compliments and people ask me what perfume it is, so I always have to mention the two because, <laughs> you know, it's the mix that apparently is really good. I mix it with Rose d'Arabie, by the way. Not the Oud, Rose d'Arabie, but it's a really good mix. But I think just uh, Kinds of Flower by itself is a really great floral scent. I think a perfect wedding scent as well. Um, it is definitely one that has a projection, so people definitely notice the perfume. So again, in case you love floral ones and you want a designer perfume, then you maybe check this one out. The next one is uh, Gucci Bloom as well. I love this perfume. I think it's beautiful perfume. My mom loves this one actually. It's one of her signature scent. Um, again, this is very floral. It's on the same, for me, this is in the same kind of, um, you know, what do you call it? Same kind of style than Rose de Vent because it's a very strong floral one. You need to uh, adore floral perfumes because otherwise it can be too much. For me on my skin, it does not work. 
but on others I think it's beautiful a great signature for scent and what is great about it is that they have a um, hair mist so in case you want to mix it up you can also just use the hair mist from them and use another perfume because it's beautiful um, combined and especially on your wedding day you want to make sure that your perfume lasts a long time so that's why I really wanted to include some perfume oils that I think are really beautiful as a base and also some body uh, lotions and hair perfumes because we want it all right I know myself I want to be extra because I'm really known for a perfume freak and I always smell good that's like I take pride in that so on my wedding day I need to top it I need to people talk about my wedding fragrance and if you're like me then you need a hair perfume body oil or body lotion to complete your wedding scent next one on the list is the Nina Parfum de Mali it stays for me one of the most perfect wedding scents so if you get married maybe in south of France or in early spring and you want to smell like a sophisticated and elegant bride then this one is absolutely stunning and also they have a wedding they have a hair perfume yes I own it I love it i think it's beautiful you've probably seen it on my vlog i used it i love her hair perfumes but again great to pair how can i not put kirke on this list for me this is a great great um bridal scent especially if you like a little bit more of a fruity gourmandy um i know that everyone agrees that it's gourmand but for me this is very edible and i feel there's a depth to this fragrance it's not a fruity powdery fragrance this is beautiful i love it i'm definitely considering this it's just stunning um also great to pair and layer um so in case you cannot decide to just get a different perfume and a different hair perfume and use the both if you're indecisive like me this will probably will be a great option just saying and um, so beautiful fruity fragrance again i mentioned in my mo top 10 uh starts off for me like a pear but then goes into a fruit basket and just stunning i love this perfume and the next one is by Ormond Jane, hopefully I pronounce this right, it's Tangier and surprise because I got it as a sample when I purchased the Blind Buy and I, I, I fell in love with this fragrance. The Neroli in it, it's for me, um, like the notes again are here as always, so you can have a screenshot if you want. The notes are just beautiful, the mix is just stunning. Again for me, Kirke and uh, you know, all man tanger. Maybe these are fragrances that I would definitely see someone wearing in summer weddings. Like I don't know, get, you get married in Italy, Spain, or California, or it's hot and you want something fruity or something more summery and warm. Just stunning. I see the this the you know when I sprayed it on when I wore it. You know how it felt for me like a summer sunset. That's that the vibe that gave it off to that they gave. That's what. That was the vibe that it gave. You know that happens when I speak quicker than my brain thinks, and that happens quite a lot. That that's the vibe that it gives off. Definitely, it's a very. For me, this is a summery fragrance. If you're a bride and you have like I don't know, like a boho wedding, and you want to smell very summery, warm. You want to dance until the sun sets that's of course then you need this perfume very very beautiful perfume this of course i had to put contre moi on this list because it's one of my top fragrances i think i even consider wearing this um because i just love it so much and it's a compliment getter most beautiful vanilla fragrance absolutely stunning if you want to hear more about it then definitely check out my other videos because i've talked about this i know you probably are tired of it but i am obsessed with this fragrance and i think yeah it's just so beautiful i mean i remember the first time i smelled it i couldn't forget it i was on a plane and i smelled it at the airport and i was like why did not take it and um obviously it's only sold at the louis vuitton boutique so you have to it's not in every city so i went searching this perfume i tell you i love it then the next one is Ilang Ilang in Gold by Mikalev. I think this is great for someone that prefers a little bit more of a softer fragrance, a little bit more of, a, you know, not too much vanilla gourmandi fragrance. Um, personally, I've ordered this. I did was a blind buy. I I liked it, but I have to say that it got so much hype 
on the internet that I had expectations that were really high and maybe this ruined my first impression because I thought this is going to be the best perfume I will ever smell in my life and I think it is a very beautiful vanilla it's a beautiful done fragrance I know that um, I showed this to my friends and also my mom and they absolutely adored this fragrance personally it's not the perfume that I look smells very nice on me like I mentioned in my perfume facts videos we don't always have to like the same fragrance thanks god we don't but it's also because um you know the ph of our skin is different so you know the different notes come out differently so sometimes something that i smell very strongly on my skin you might not and i just felt like um it's not as power it's, it just does not suit me but i know it suits a lot of women and i know that if you love vanilla fragrances that are more subtle and are more powdery that are more creamy then you will absolutely love this fragrance on me it's not too powdery um it went a bit over to all the lady fragrance but it, it's not a bad thing it just doesn't didn't work for me but i know that a lot of women love this perfume so if you have the chance to order a sample do that because i think um you might love it and i wanted to go on with some more stronger fragrances because I know there's a lot of people that want to set more of a sensual burning fragrance, a great staying power. So I would say my top three on the list are um, Oud Satin Mood by MFK. So hear me out. It is a very strong perfume. Some people even say they get headaches, but I love it. I love a fragrance that makes me feel like I enter a room and everyone can smell my perfume. I just love that. Um, not always, but I think as a bride, sometimes you want that. And I also think that getting some oud, uh, getting some um, more of a deeper, stronger perfume can be really, really nice. Also, I would say if you have a romantic, uh, very trendy kind of fragrance. Um, also, um, they actually have a hair perfume, I've ordered it um, and I think that this would be a great addition. So you can just use a very light fragrance and then top it off with a hair perfume, um, like I mentioned before, but this one is beautiful. Then the next one is Fate by Anouage, I think it's a stunning fragrance. The notes are incredible, there's cinnamon in it, mask um caramel it's just beautiful again i feel for me amouage is one of the greatest brands it's actually a omani brand if i'm not mistaken or um beautiful fragrance the lasting power is incredible and what i love about them they make body lotions okay you all know i love that i love to pair body lotions with perfumes especially if the perfume comes with its own body lotion even better you have a set bridal set body lotion um and your perfume even better if there's a hair perfume and the last one on the list for today is Portrait of a Lady. Um, I just love it. It's one of my favorite Frederick Malls, uh, favorite fragrance of Frederick Malls. The first time I smelled it years ago, I immediately fell in love. It was just when I discovered my love for a little bit more of a oriental, more of a little bit more woody sense, stronger sense in that aspect. I am in love with this. Again, if you're a woman and you want to have a stronger fragrance and you want people to smell you when you pass by, then this one is definitely one of those. It's just stunning. I don't think you can go wrong with it. What I love about this fragrance, again, I don't think there's any cliche or any rules on fragrance. If you're 15, you want to wear it. If you're 65, you're going to wear it. Go ahead. But I think especially this fragrance is just a great... I see myself wearing this as an older woman, but I also love to wear it when i was younger if that makes sense i just think it's beautiful so then just quickly i want to present i just want to uh, talk about a few body oils or body lotions not a lot just to give you an idea i actually think that laura mercier has really good body oil a uh, body lotions there's vanille souffle this one that is the coconut i think their body lotions are really really good the scents are just stunning and trust me you wear this with pairing with a paired perfume absolutely incredible vanilla body lotions are always a good base if you ask me ambery body lotions by the way dear exclusive also has body lotions uh they have a body lotion from ambre nuit so 
if you want to wear something woody but woody or woody or a little bit more uh, stronger but you don't want to wear the perfume up for body lotion with the scent and then you just top it up with something floral and trust me everyone would say that you smell good so these are really the Laura Merci I really want that I really can recommend but if I could give you advice don't buy the box because I did the mistake I bought the box and not the tube the box is really not cool to take out the body lotion it goes in your nails it's not very practical I really don't like it I would prefer to get the tube because it's easy you squeeze it out and you put it on your body then another body lotion that might surprise some people but it's Dove the body lotion they have, they have different ones. Um, it's beautiful, it smells really nice. What I really like about it actually is when you put it on, it's not white. Sometimes you have body lotions that turn white and you have to like, you know, put it on your skin. Like I use like five minutes on one arm because you want obviously not to have a white cast. And this one is actually getting into your skin really quickly. So you don't have this issue. It's very on um, the lower end of the price. So if you're looking for something that smells really nice, but is on the budget, then this one would be a great option. Then we come to the bougie body oil. Okay, Maison Francis Courtijan Baccarat Rouge 540 body oil. I have to tell you that this is insane. I'm gonna get a bottle. I'm just telling you, as body oil does not only shimmer, but also smells divine and as much as I love Maison Francis Courtijan Baccarat Rouge, and I know a lot of people will have this as a wedding scent, which is absolutely understandable, I would probably offer the body lotion, pair it with another perfume, and wow. Also, um, they have also body oil from A La Rose by MFK, Francis Ma I'm not gonna say the name again because I'm gonna butcher it, but um, from the same design, from the same perfumer, they have also A La Rose body oil, which is beautiful, and satin wood, uh, wood satin wood uh, body oil. And I think I would probably consider one of those because absolutely beautiful. As, again, don't forget if you moisturize your skin, your perfume lasts longer. So. I tell you, Baccarat Rouge layered with so many perfumes is stunning, so imagine the oil. You're gonna smell so good, people won't even listen to what you're saying. We all need it, I think we do. I do really think we need it. It's a little bit less pricey, I think. I uh, Don't quote me on that, but I think. And, you know, you have the body lotion and you just, you know, if you love Baccarat Rouge, I do, but it, there's just so many people that wear it, so... We all like to feel a bit more special, right? So I use, I layer it a lot, or the dupe, because I have both. Um, but the body lotion, mm, I would love that so much. Um, yeah, so then after the hair perfumes, I would highly recommend you to get Rosa Nobile by Aqua di Parma. I love this scent, but I just don't think it's very long lasting. So I wouldn't wear it for my wedding day, but the rose perfume is just stunning. Um, they have a hair mist, then also um, we talk about Baccarat Rouge again, they have a hair mist. So in case you want to try it out but you don't want to spend a coin, get yourself the hair mist. And again, as mentioned, Oud Satin Mood, they also have the hair mist. So this would be great. I mean, they are really smart, let's be honest. MFK is really smart because what they did is a set. So you can have the perfume, the body lotion, the body oil and the hair mist perfect because if I love a perfume I want a base in it I said it already um, so yes yes to this so if you're in love if you're obsessed with Baccarat Rouge a la rose get the package girl I think you deserve it it's your wedding day and then other than that I mentioned again just for you to not forget Gucci Bloom Delina they have hair perfumes in case you want Delina even has body lotion so if you used to wear Delina a lot but you think to yourself maybe on my wedding day I want to wear something different maybe the other way around but maybe on my wedding day I want to wear something different but you still feel like you neglect your perfume then just use the Delina body oil uh, body lotion sorry and then just add another perfume on top so it still reminds you of it beautiful i will make a video on body lotion separately if you want to but yeah this would be my tip if you get married um get three perfume products body lotion or body oil 
perfume and hair perfume you ready set for your day again perfume for your wedding day is super personal so i cannot tell what perfume i'm gonna use i think i have some on the list that i actually consider but i still have some time so i might go shop maybe i'll take you with me once i do that because there is kind of like a you know intriguing thought for me it's an intriguing thought for me to hunt a special perfume and nevertheless i will i will let you know which cup perfume that is the before or after but i'm sure that you will find your perfume perfect wedding scent if you're still on the hunt you're not sure make sure you check out the ones that i just put on the list i'm sure you will one you will find one of them or one of them on my list will you will like anyways again if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you do also follow me on instagram if you like this video make sure you put the uh, you, you you like the video and if you're interested in seeing my perfume collection my current one then make sure you put the ring bell button on because this is going to be my next video and yeah.